We round out the noble sauces today with velouté sauce, next on Urban Kitchen Revolution. Hi, welcome back to Urban Kitchen Revolution. I'm Chef James Hudson. Today we're going to round out our exploration into the noble sauces or our baseline sauces that we use for everyday cooking with velouté sauce. Also can be looked at as how we in the professional kitchen produce gravy. So this is going to be basically your baseline uh, to set up the perfect, smooth, succulent, rich, unctuous gravy or a really nice finishing sauce for anything that you're uh, producing. So what is a velouté? Well, a velouté is really nothing more than what we explored two episodes ago back in 12 with bechamel sauce, except that with velouté sauce, instead of using milk as our base, we're using stock. In this case today, we're going to be going with a roasted chicken stock that we made many, many moons ago and had frozen in the freezer. And we're just going to basically take the exact same steps that we made for bechamel sauce and apply that to stock to make a finished velouté. So as a quick overview, really all we're doing to make a velouté sauce is taking a stock, like we said, a roasted chicken stock in this case, but it could be a turkey stock. It could be a fish fumé if you, if you were so inclined to have like a seafood sauce on top of something or uh, lobster stock, even uh, beef stock, and turning it into a sauce consistency with the addition of roux, just like in a bechamel. So we're gonna basically get ready to get right at it. Uh, we covered the roux back two episodes in 12, but we're gonna quickly review it here real quickly. Basically all we're doing with the roux is taking equal parts of butter and flour and, mix, and putting them on the stove, heating them up until the flour starts to pull away a little bit and then finishing it off in the oven. In this case, we're going to do a medium brown roux to make a really nice dark rich finished sauce. So when we come back, we'll have had the roux finished and show that again as a finished product and the uh, stock rolling and we'll just finish the sauce off from there. So let's get at it. What do you say? Okay, so we're back and it is time to now add the roux to the stock. As you can see, it's boiling. I'm pulling the roux out right now. It is, as you can see, a lovely golden brown. It has a super nice scent of hazelnut in it. It's still pulling away from the pan real nicely. As we talked about in a couple episodes ago, equal parts, butter and flour. We've cooked it in a 350 degree oven. We've got in a ratio of one part roux to five parts uh, stock or liquid. So if we had one liter of stock or one quart, we would be simply adding at 200 grams or about four ounces of finished roux. So now we're just in small batches, putting hot roux into hot stock. That will help to negate or lessen any chance of having a uh, little balls of roux or flour in your finished product. We're doing it in stages so as to not have it overflow because obviously the stock is much, much hotter or the roux is much, much hotter than the stock. Let that simmer a little bit. We're going to add a little kosher salt, maybe three or four pinches. A little fresh cracked black pepper. And I also cut off some fresh thyme and some fresh rosemary from the garden in the windowsill. We're just going to add this whole so that we can take it out later on, but it'll still infuse the velouté with a little bit of flavor. I also like to add a little bit of red wine a lot of times to this, 
or a little bit of red wine vinegar, just a touch of red wine vinegar to kind of balance out the acidity from the, uh, from the, for the dish. It really kind of rounds everything out. I've got a little bit of red wine handy over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and add maybe a, an ounce or 30 grams or so to it. You can see that the stock is starting to change consistency and how it's actually bubbling at this point. A little bit of red wine. That was maybe, like I said, an ounce, ounce and a half, 30, 45 grams is all. Give that a nice stir. This come back up to a simmer and we will be able to see where we're at as far as the consistency is concerned. It looks like we're close. And as you can see, we only have just a little bit of roux left. That's why another reason why I like to go in stages because it's not a fully precise methodology. You really want to go on look. And <clears throat> yeah, this needs just a little bit more. So it looks like we got it pretty well dead even. We're just going to go ahead and add this little bit right here. Again, if it's over thick, you can add a little bit of fresh stock to it or even a touch of water. Even a little bit of extra wine is fine. Yeah, this is going to be it right here. Make sure we get around the side so there aren't any, isn't any roux stuck to the corners of the pot. Okay, and you can see how, how even the bubbles in the boil have changed now. And it's starting to almost come up and roll back into itself rather than just a regular boil like how water boils. So that's got a nice thickness. Another way you can check it is by grabbing a small, you know, grabbing a spoon and dipping it in. And you see how it coats the back of the spoon right there? That is sauce consistency. We're gonna let this simmer and turn the heat down to like a two or a three. Let this simmer for like 15, 20 minutes at a real low simmer. That'll help to cook out any residual flour flavor. And when that's done, we'll go ahead and bring it back over to the uh, cutting board area and give it a taste and see how we did. And that's it. Velouté sauce. Okay, so we're back. We have had this uh, the velouté on the stove for about 20 minutes. Let the roux cook out. As you can see, we've got a nice, shiny, velvety sauce or high-class gravy, if you want to call it. Coats the spoon really well, coats the plate really well, has just a mild herbaceous flavor from the bit of rosemary and thyme that we put into it. Really, really nice sauce. This would be great as is with just a nice roasted chicken, or you could add wild mushrooms to this and serve it with, with a roasted steak or a top sirloin. Uh, that's kind of the beauty of doing a roasted chicken stock and then adding a really uh, highly roasted roux like we did is it actually works for beef or pork or anything it's it is a little neutral but also has a really nice roasty flavor so that's it that's really our journey into the noble sauces and um a nice fine end at that i could thank you again for coming and joining me on this journey i can you know in addition to these the web series here you i can also be reached on the web at urbankitchenrevolution.com. I'm also available on Facebook at Urban Kitchen Revolution as well as Twitter on James Hudson UKR. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the little bell to uh, be updated on any new episodes that are coming up. Next episode, we're going to dive into the basics of green vegetable cookery. So I hope to see you then real soon. Until then, have a great day. Join the revolution. Bye.